As you know, we are talking about uh, goals, content, and sequencing uh, element of language curriculum design. So within this topic, we're going to see now the units of progression in in a language course, right? And their significance uh, uh, for a language course, right? Um, you know, in language curriculum design, units uh, of progression, um, they tend to offer a springboard, a starting point, um, and they offer us a gateway to grade items, yeah? And uh, to ensure their progress, I mean, how items, whether it's, it's going to be vo vocabulary teaching or it's going to be grammar teaching, how they progress, yeah? So this is how, uh, in language curriculum design, the units of progression, they offer a sort of uh, gradation uh, process. Um, well, um, for example, if... Uh, if uh, uh, if the goals or if the content of a course is you know teaching uh, through topics, so we need to ensure that uh, the, uh, the subsequent sessions uh, show how topics are dealt. And similarly, uh, if uh, we are teaching uh, you know vocabulary, so it, it's broader level we are teaching lexical items or uh, frequent uh, vocabulary. So, you know, while uh, deciding about, you know, the units of progression in our course, we need to be aware of these uh, uh, few things, yeah. And um, obviously, uh, there are types of units and they have their uh, uh, pedagogical constraints. So, uh, for example, uh, some units might be of definite series. Uh, for example, um, uh, definite uh, series mean uh, when you are teaching vocabulary, so they are taught as, a, uh, as an individual activity. And uh, we've got field of knowledge, I mean the ideas or the topics based on um, um, some themes or some ideas. And uh, we need to ensure, like, uh, that uh, the units of progression, they follow a systematic approach. And they have, uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, we have got language items which are appropriate and useful. I mean, we, uh, that they have been given appropriate coverage, I mean, not at the cost of some other items. So what are the purposes of uh, units then? Since the course, as you know, can be um, uh, br broken down into, uh, the goals of the course can be broken down into its uh, certain units. The content can be uh, divided into its, uh, you know, certain blocks and sections or groups or... Uh, so what are the purposes then? Yeah, one of the purposes is that uh, it helps us know uh, the target, I mean, what we're going to achieve in a specific language course. And secondly, it helps uh, us to see the adequacy, what we have uh, selected for a specific language course, and the order in which uh, the language uh, uh, learning is going to take place. And uh, they can also help us to assess and report um, learners' progress. So units of progression uh, uh, give sort of control uh, over the teaching of uh, language through various blocks, sections, and groups. So they also help us to, you know, determine the entry and exit levels of, uh, of uh, students. Uh, so in, in, in summary, Units of progression in a course, they form uh, an important part of the goals, content, and sequencing element of language curriculum design.